I'll do it. Okay. So, Dave, it's all coming apart. You ready to give it up and help us clean this mess up? Or do you still believe in the cause? Because the feds are going to get serious from here on out. President Sunday and I have had to squash attempts to pass around your docs before. I can assure you neither him nor I want to see that happen to you. And this isn't some clever mafia-like threat. By the way, it sounds exactly like a mafia-like threat. I'm simply laying it out. Things are about to go really south for right-wing moves globally, see? Yeah, they're about to go south, see? You know how the system operates. Can't you be a Catholic and hold on to your values without being networked with these people? Anyway, food for thought. My door is open when you want out. This is a nightmare. I fucking knew this would happen. I don't know why you pushed it this far, Dave. Didn't you block me and call me a liar? Yeah, because you're a manipulative son of a bitch, Dave. But you also have a family, and you have a duty to them. Think about your family, Dave. And President Sunday threatened me with a dox and doxed a good friend of mine. To me, this sounds like a mafia selling protection. What did I lie about, Faraday? Dave, 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 he did not dox anyone. I talked to him. I've personally seen the man protect you many times. I have the screenshot, Faraday. You live, Dave. You live in a fantasy world, buddy. Come on. So you just want to call me names, or does this conversation have a point? Keep up the LARP, Dave. It's only going to hurt your kid's life. I don't care what happens to you, to be honest. Your content sucks, and the right wing thinks NRX is cringe. I'm giving you an out. Take it or leave it. How? Denounce the Nazis you've been working with and help us help tell us what the fuck is going on? Denounce who specifically? And then what are you going to do for me? And who right, is us? Because right now I can tell you that while you haven't committed crimes, the right wing is a terror threat in the lies of the law. It says otter this, but he means over this. Who are you speaking for right now, Faraday? Doesn't sound like you're speaking for yourself. What are you going to do if someone in your community shoots up a synagogue or endeavors or in endeavors community? What if you get bought off, bought, excuse me, brought in on federal investigation because you had connection to the at you realize the situation you're in, correct? I was banned off discord. My community is now my friends and my videos. Hello. Well, okay, Dave, I don't care. You figure it out. Who are you speaking for Faraday? And no, you've got nothing to worry about from me. And what are you offering? Enough vagarities. Dave, I just don't want to see your kids suffer, but I pity you. Who is going to make my kids suffer, Faraday? Tell me. Mark and Laura. Thank you guys. This is Mark Collett uh, and Laura. And Laura uh, Towler. Yeah, Towler. Mark and Laura are neo-Nazis. Endeavor is a neo-Nazi, and you are a moral coward who will never be worthy of whatever movement you think you're building. And feel free to take this as content for your stream, just like you YouTubers do. Well, fair point there. Faraday, I have no contact with Laura Towler. Endeavor is a good friend of mine, even though we differ on some political positions. I don't denounce friends. I address their arguments. Doors still open, Dave. What door? You haven't told me what you were offering and from who. The one where you denounce this stuff and go and go back to having a normal life off the internet. You haven't told me what you are offering and from who. I'm giving you a chance to do the right thing, but you still want to do this LARP with your Nazi friends. Faraday, you are a kid trying to play guilt by association games, and your one request is to try to bully me into deleting my channel. Anyway, this was a courtesy. I don't care what choice you make. I'm not bullying. I'm not coming after you. I'm telling you what events are unfolding. I'm not going to do a thing but watch. Then be specific. You haven't even told me what you are offering. You leave this crap, give info that would dismantle these radicalization networks you've helped construct, and go back to being Dave the Boring Computer Guy. Even if I stopped making videos, everything you're describing could still happen to me. It's less about your vids. I'm not worried about your influence. You guys have no influence. Okay, so why do you care? 
I gave up paying attention a long time ago, Dave, because you guys are about to screw yourselves over and make yourselves second-class citizens. So you don't even know what you're talking about. Good to know. Why would I be a second-class citizen when nothing I have done is illegal? Because wrong think? Are you listening to yourself, Faraday? I don't care enough to argue with you, Dave. I'd recommend not networking with those people. This isn't Faraday, the anti-fash bread zoomer, telling you to cut it out. This is Caleb, the guy who sat on voice chat and listened to you talk about bluegrass music while your baby cried into the mic. I do care, Dave. Are, are you vaguely alluding to threats to my family unless I stop saying things and having opinions that I believe to be true? I just hate this bullshit. And if you want to enjoy it, go ahead. I don't care. I've got more important things to do, to be honest. You don't care that you're trying to get me to choose between moral beliefs and my dedication to my family. Faraday, that's disgusting. Moral beliefs should exclude neo-Nazis from your circles. Just saying, who's the disgusting one here again? You aren't just saying you are alluding to a specific threat made by someone else, if not you, you won't tell me who this other person is. I'm saying you ally with people who will probably end up getting themselves in trouble because they are young and reckless, and there's no other person here. It's me and you, you fucking paranoid fucks. What's disgusting is the emotional blackmail you're trying to I'm pull. not blackmailing, Dave. I'm not going to do anything. Faraday, you used the term us. I'm not reporting your channel and I'm not calling Antifa. I'm sending you a message because I'm concerned. But if you don't want to listen, then whatever. Great. So make your offer explicit and stop trying to bully people like a coward. Yeah, us. As in, you can help people get away from this shit and not be a threat to us. The rest of fucking society. I've said clearly, stop playing your dumb word games and trying to suss out my motives. I'm straight up with you. If you left to denounce that shit, I would vouch for you. By deleting my channel and leaving the internet, even though you think I have no influence, are you listening to yourself, Caleb? Well, that would be nice if you did, but to be honest, the main thing is you really should cut contact with this far-right world online. And if you cared about me, why would you be calling me a son of a bitch? Get your Dave, story straight. You're going to get wrapped up into some bad shit as things get worse. Look how they treated the Muslims. Dave, I can't not like your ass, and I have a fondness for you. I care about your kids. Much like Ethan Ralph, I am quite fond of Muslims, Faraday. You know that. <laughs> this is going to be bad for the left, too. I'm saying the way DHS treated them, Dave. So it sounds like we should stop them, right? There is nothing you or I can do to stop that, Dave. Whose side are you on? The government's? Well, if there's nothing I can do to stop it, it is what it is. Dave, I'm on the side of my friends, the people around me. So am I. Sounds like a live and let live policy would be good. All right, well, do what you have to do. I'm really not coming after you. I don't need that kind of drama in my life, Dave. Maybe you could stop calling me a liar and a son of a bitch. Well, maybe, maybe, Dave, maybe you shouldn't hang out with the people you do and try to tell me you're all just Catholics. When I read in Deborah's Telegram, I was distrusted, disgusted, excuse me, for shame. Ah, so this is about Endeavor. Look, Faraday, I am not a proxy for other people. Dave, you know something? My great-grandmother told me something when I was a kid. You are the company you keep. And a hit dog will holler. Great. So I can associate things Vouch has said as your opinions, Caleb. You endorsed him on your channel. Dude, Dave, why are you even bringing up Vouch? We were talking about you and you're bringing up Vouch. And I do endorse Vouch, by the way. I don't throw friends under the bus because I disagree with them on politics. Do you endorse Endeavor's view then? This is what I mean, Dave. You're in over your head. Dave, you know what, Dave? Have a good one. No, not all of them. We disagree on a lot of race questions. Caleb, do me a favor. Try thinking for yourself. Take one position, own it, and work out its logical conclusions. Then apply those conclusions equally to your friends and enemies and see what conclusions you come to. <laughs> Dave, it's liberating and honest. Dave you're, a, Dave, you're a joke. You're just a joke, Dave. Think about it, Faraday. Really try to make your thoughts consistent. I am always here for you if you want to talk it through. 
Dave, your manipulation, your little games, they don't work on people with self-respect, Dave. Talking? It's not like the vulnerable kids you talk to online, Dave, slinking around on Twitter. God's going to punish you for this, Dave. You know that, right? Aren't you an atheist? Not anymore. And you believe in hell? Christ church changed me. I don't know. But there's going to be punishment, and you're on the wrong side. <laughs> what religion even are you? And it's not left versus right, Dave. I don't have a religion, Dave. And it's none of your goddamn business anyway. This, this is what I'm talking about, Faraday. You are more interested in using God as a tool to scare me than you're coming into communion with him yourself. First, you're my friend who is super concerned about me. Next, you call me an SOB. First, you're an atheist who doesn't care about religion and doesn't believe in divine punishment. That makes you threaten me with God's retribution. The problem is, Faraday, I don't believe you believe what you're saying to me. Dave, I don't care anymore. I don't care. I just know the shit you're in is wrong and leads to nothing good. You can't debate your way out of that, but you can try. Goodbye, Dave. There we go. There's the text exchange. Oh. Got a little into that as we rolled along. <laughs>